Hi, this is Lou Covey, Editorial Director of New Tech Press, and I'm here with the redoubtable Charles Janik of Arteris. And we've just been talking about the FPGA world, and you had some interesting things to say. What's going on with FPGAs? So first of all, Arteris makes network on chip type interconnect and inner chip links that communicate between dies. And this is a more efficient way of allowing uh, on-chip communication. So in the FPGA world, our thesis is that there is a big opportunity for the FPGA SOC, which is a combination of processors, uh, other types of uh, IOIP, CERTES, programmable logic, and also 3D memories. And this places much more uh, pressure on efficient interconnect uh, so that uh, you can actually have one type of interconnect for all three parts. So we think that the FPGA SOC is going to have a good shot at taking out the low end of the ASIC market uh, as uh, things progress down the deep submicron curve. Um, so that uh, uh, you can basically those kinds of uh, structures will be competitive with, uh, with ASICs uh, for some applications. Okay, what kind of products are we looking at the, are these going into? Uh, I think these are uh, probably volumes uh, less than uh, 3 million, uh, uh, things that uh, don't require low power, so things uh, such as base stations, uh, potentially even uh, some types of digital televisions, some types of uh, set-top boxes, where uh, system houses that uh, are delivering their value through software will just want to get very quickly to market and will take an off-the-shelf part and uh, use, uh, use an FPGA SOC, where previously they may have used an ASIC. Excellent. Well, that's going to be, we're going to be looking forward to seeing that happen. Okay, we'll right, see. Thank, thank you.